Welcome back, Wolfpack. Welcome back to another Arkham Knight episode. I'm Ronnie Lee, and last episode we apprehended Manbat or Kirk Lamstrung Storm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next, we are going to do. Well, we got three here to go, but we also have the inspe the e expansion missions. But yeah, this one we're gonna dedicate to this: the perfect crime. We're going to investigate Poe's mutilated bodies. Yeah. Some killer has killer, bodies hanged around the Gotham. Found on the rooftop of the Gotham. Who's house. doing it? A tool or something? Oh, here Alfred, it is. I found Never a mind. Mutilated body, but this I, isn't I the thought one it would be on the roof or something. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. All right, let's do it. Let's... Interesting, okay. Blood tests reveal the cause of Were death. Were they like drugs or poison or something? Leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue Whoa, scan that's crazy. to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. So pained killers are the cause of death. The killer burned their fingerprints. And their DNA is totally fucked up. Like, it is the perfect death. What the hell? Alright, cool. What are we... Okay, that's not it. Oh. There was something there, so what? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. We're skipping a whole bunch of stuff. Wait, go back. Yeah, there's a mark on the arm. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. 20 years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary. Okay. A small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Interesting. Is one of the Bloodhaven Six the culprit of, of this crime? Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. What, are we going to dissect the body to find what, what freaking model it is? Uh, okay, is there any but ooh. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis. A rare now, excuse me, but that that body right, I mean, that face Alfred, right there the looks like an actual Buckard. photo. Is that one of, like, yes, the developers or something? Drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. Yeah, okay. Luckily, though, I came across a couple of bodies. Um, but yeah, this is interesting. So we know that this one died of painkillers, as I said. Their identity, basically their identity, their fingerprints and everything that you can use to identify the person is gone. Okay. I'm not surprised if their teeth are missing as well. Um, they're all part of this. I mean, he does have like scar tissue, which is like a sign of a group from Black Gay Penitentiary. My kid, I was gonna buy him a present. Did someone from that group get like go rogue and are trying to erase everyone and kill everyone who's a member of that group to try to hide something? Also, he was. It said he moved to Arkansas. And he'd gone missing. So, why would you kill them over there and bring them to Gotham? Like, I don't know. There he is. Oh. Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Does he have a peacemaker as well and all that? Or is it going to be different? And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. 
What does that say? Defective? What it, what is defective? What do you, what do you mean? Uh, okay. Skin, is there any marks? Are you part of the group too? Probably on your legs, right? No? Nothing on the skin? I don't think so. No, okay, that's interesting. So you don't have any any marks or anything. How about your muscles? Anything? Ooh! What's this, his kidney? The position of this scar indicates the victim underwent surgery to remove one of their kidneys. Right, okay. So each one has like a, a health problem or something. The other one had a pacemaker. This one had a, a kidney removed. Okay, anything on the bones? Ooh, I like this. This is like mysterious. This is like... I'm into this type of stuff. Nah, that sounded weird. Okay. Ooh! Is that a metal plate? A plate made of tantalum. Used here for a cranial fracture. Aha. Uh -huh. Most probably the result of a boxing accident. The victim's callous knuckles would only be acquired by a professional fighter. I feel like we're missing something. There's something else, though. Ooh! You do have scar tissue. Okay. This wound is relatively fresh, inflicted while the victim was still alive. Abrasion to the epidermal layers confirms the somewhat crude removal of a tattoo. Did now, the other the guy have a Ella tattoo Montgomery. removed, too? Is that why there's scar it tissue? the kidney was donated to a twin sister who unfortunately died. This seems to have been the catalyst oh, for her boxing pursuits, and hence the cranial injury. She went missing in Huntsville, Alabama. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Yeah. Try the, the and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. This one says defective. I didn't really get to see the first one. I kind of like didn't even pay attention to it. There he is. Okay, nice. This one says Alfred, broken. Can add a third victim to the list. Defective, this broken. The first one, I'm, I'm not it sure. Mind a space of what the it was. Of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. Right. Okay. Where's the mark on this one? Oh, on the side. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of selective Shark bite! Oh. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. Is this the great white shark? Oh, the eyeball. What? Is that a like a the fake eyeball? Was fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific yeah. type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. All right, let's see. Bone damage. Ooh. Oh damn! You have screws and signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's right. name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, and it's interesting as well because in the age nine, in the evidence abuse. locker for surfing, the at the GCPD, there is a great white shark. So are we going to see him in, in this in game? Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right. Right you are, sir. Second, the writing by second the body victim. suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them. Okie dokie. Aha! What does this one say? Flawed. Okay. Flawed, broken, defective. Alfred, I found a fourth hmm. victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. We can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. I mean, a shark bite. I, 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 the only person I can think of is the great white shark, but I, I'm not sure if it's actually him. Oh, the ear. Deformity on the left ear. 
Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. Ah, okay. I, I, I thought it was like a bite. I was gonna say, this guy... Who was it? Mike Tyson? Alright, uh... Let's go down. Ooh, what the hell is that? It looks like a ring. Did he swallow a ring or...? A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads, Ophelia. Ophelia. Right. Where is the... Oh. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Cool. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought Damn. on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each really? went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. You would think that there would be some links there or something. Over there. Aha. Okay. Nice. Alfred, I found a fifth victim. I, I don't know how many victims there are. Um. Oh. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark. Right. Quite distinctive. Let's see anything? Anything around here? What was that? Nothing. Hmm. Your face? No. The hands? Interesting. Okay, so you don't have anything in your muscles. Is there anything like any bone thing? Ah, the toes. Okay. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Let me just make sure that I'm not missing anything as far as muscles go. The throat? No, the head? Ooh, I missed that. I didn't even see that. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. Did the, did the killer shoot him before killing him? Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. Right. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. Do the details of the disappearance match with the others? Oh, and perfect. They do indeed, okay. Sir. Also, your request to cross-reference the parks and playing fields has proved fruitful. I've come across some leasing documentation that appears to have been falsified. Someone is attempting to cover their tracks. Find out anything you can. Well, okay, I we knew that. I knew that because obviously deaths, he's killing people still that others. are linked to him somehow. We don't know how, but yeah. You're telling me that I couldn't hear this music? And I've been around this area so so many times. And this is where... Screw you, man. Okay? Screw this. I should have been able to hear this music playing. smashing the place up, taking over on behalf of some freak. That's our job. Shot it, would you? There it is. There it is. I found it. Alfred, I've discovered another body. Six victims, Master Bruce. When will this nightmare end? Hopefully this is the last victim, to be honest, because this is getting ridiculous now. This is getting that ridiculous. That particular type of bleaching to the pigmentation of the skin denotes a chemical burn, most likely a chlorine-based substance. Right, and what is this over here? Tracheal surgery to remove a cancerous growth has resulted in the victim being fitted with a voice box. Right. Uh, and what else? One last thing. Any fractures anywhere? No? The finger. Yeah, okay. 
The victim suffered a rare genetic disorder, causing them to have six fingers on one hand. Six fingers in one hand. Alfred, Imagine that. The victim's name is Allison Weirs. Hmm. She was an engineer employed at Ace Chemicals. That would certainly right. explain some of her ailments. She moved into a retirement home. In Told Belhaven you, nothing ever ago. comes good her from Ace Chemicals. It, it produces a joker. With the That's where the scarecrow try to it make its toxin. This Sending poor woman has so up. many the circus of reject. Strange. Uh -huh. Its root recently took it through all the locations where the victims went missing. The Get circus me a list of associated names. The circus is run by a rather suspicious fellow named Laszlo Valentin. Search for any properties owned or leased by the suspect. Right. Records show Mr. Valentin used to lease a beauty salon here in Gotham, but the lease expired shortly before Is it the one in Chinatown? On International Plaza. Send through the location. It's time to end this. Okay, so we got a location. Nice. Okay, let's go investigate. Let's go find out. So who's Lightwing and Robin? I bet they're the Pretty same Dolls Parlor. I knew it. I bet you it's in Chinatown. How much you guys want to bet? Where is it? Uh, is it over here? No. Where's this beauty parlor? Uh, it's over here, right? In Miyagani? Never mind. It's it's not what I thought. Okay. Oh, this is it. Okay, it makes sense. It makes total sense now. Okay, nice. Imagine he's using all these pieces to make a, like, a real-life Barbie doll or something. That'd be so strange. I don't like this. And he's obsessed with this goddamn opera music. It's all the same opera song. What the hell's going on? Laszlo Valentin. It sounds familiar to me, but I can't put my finger on it. Like, who is Laszlo Valentin? Right, is this... Not where we're supposed to go? That was just for a riddle or trophy? Ah, okay. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Okay, boom. Dead name. There we go. Nice. It was just using the Oh, I don't like this at all. Look at look at these weird creepy mannequin dolls and all that. This reminds me of Gotham, the TV show, because he was in there. Yeah, and now I know who he is. It all makes sense. Okay, let's go around. Yeah, he was part of the Gotham series. You're one done bit, here, Valentine. Let them go. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Pig, not ready yet. <laughs> She's all unique and wrong. All I'm so uncomfortable. Inside out. Pig, make her better. Pig, make all of us better. Right. It's over. But Pig can fix you too. Make you perfect. Like the others. No. I, I doubt that I'm, I'm good insane. as is. Okay. And what are you? I'm here to stop you. Bad. Bad. Pig is like clay. Imagine it was a plot Pig twist and it was actually like clay face. God. Pig is here to fix us all. Why does he talk in third person, too? Like, that's weird. You motherfucker, what the fuck? Darling. Show him how perfect you are. Was that it? It's like they're immune to pain. I need to make sure they stay down. Oh. 
What? 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 There's more of them. Okay. And they're immune to pain? I don't like the sound of that. Okay. Okay, stay down. Stay down, please. God damn. He hit me. How? Me no likey. Piggy. Piggy sucks ass. They never gonna get knocked out. Like, I might have to. I might have to do something. Oh. Oh. Okay. Got it. Right. Okay. We were gonna be there forever if I didn't figure that out. Fucking say that again, please. I hope you're nobody's daddy. You fucking weirdo. me you dick I'm not turn your ass to bacon fuck bringing you to the GCPD take his ass out please oh yes okay there we go we figured it out we figured it out okay knock his ass out please hit him all right whatever that stunned him so we figured something out there we go. Okay, so it's not the electrical charge. Boom, he's stunned. And then we use environment takedown to do some damage. Oh my god, why couldn't I figure that out? So is that it? I can't leave until I've rescued the other victims. What victims? Is he good? Is he gonna stay there? Oh, uh, how am I supposed to do that then? Hold on. Oh, get it. Got it. Good. Boom. Nice. We're up here. Please don't leave us. I'm bringing your ass down. Can you calm down? Fuck's sake. All right, now we can pick his ass up. Fucking probably heavy as shit. You look up cholesterol, and, and that's what you see in the dictionary. Like, come on, dude. Fuck you. God damn, that was so annoying. Yeah, you failed. You ain't no perfect criminal at all. You're everything but... Perfect. Like, ah. Oh. Out you go, Valentine. Don't, don't lock. How is he not in handcuffs? Won't be pleased. Well, fuck you and fuck mother. Okay. Not mine. His. Not good enough. Oh, never good enough. So close. I feel bad. I just feel bad for all the other villains in that cell because they got to put up with his bullshit, too. So much better. Shut up, dude. Shut up. Shut up. Mission complete. Finally. God. We can end the episode. Another.
criminal apprehended. So now there's only two more to do, which is uh, Riddler and keep Anarchy. Anarchy. Yeah, and then we're going to probably do the expansion missions as well. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, click the like button with your paw. If you guys didn't, let me know why in the comments below. That way I can improve and entertain you guys better. But if you're not part of the Wolfpack, you should join because I'm cool, you're cool, we're all cool. We should be one cool community. Also, you can get notified on my upcoming content by clicking that bell icon below. But yeah, if you're part of the Wolfpack, you already know what I'm going to say. Stay cool, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.